Hello my friends! Welcome and thanks for joining my channel. How to remove a double pole breaker. For the removal of the double pole breaker, skip to this time. Alright, first thing first, safety first. Make sure you have some safety glasses and some gloves just in case of electrical shock or sparks. Step number one, I'm going to carefully remove my panel cover. Before we begin step two, there are things on the panel that I would like to show you that you should never touch with your bare hands. So here I have a volt tester. I can show you and indicate the parts in the panel that you should never touch. You can get this device from Home Depot. It's fairly cheap. To turn on this device, I press the button and it's green. When it turns red, that means it's dangerous. So the parts I'm going to show you in this panel is not safe to touch. For instance, the live feed you should never touch these. You could get shocked or you could die. Even the screws, you should never touch it. Or even the wires on the side, the bare copper, you should never touch that. Or even this bus bar, that's also dangerous. This part, very dangerous. You could die if you touch it. Lots of amps going through there. So before working on your breakers, make sure it's turned off. Like this one right here, this breaker is turned off. It's safe to touch a screw and work on. When you're always, turn off the breaker before working on the device. Removing your double pole breaker is fairly easy. Most common breakers now these days look like this, but the older ones, they will have a screw on the side where you unscrew it and bolts off so you can remove it. But this one is fairly simple. Step number one, most important part, make sure your breaker is turned off in the off position. Step number two, remove the wires one by one. Does not matter if you want to start top or bottom, and does not matter if it's black or red, They're, they are both the same. Loosen the screws and pull the wires away. Now for the next step, to take off the breaker. The easiest way to remove the breaker is by putting your flat head on the side. There's an indent slot where it fits the flat head and you lightly count it on the side. And it pops off like this. In the back right corner is a pivot point where it pivots the breaker. I'll show you another view of where I am putting the flathead when I'm pounding it. So there's a little indent slot where you put your flathead in where you're able to pound it lightly on. Sometimes the breaker gets very stuck and hard to take out. So you have to be very careful when you do it. So it goes in like this and you pound it. And that's how you remove your double pole breaker. Thank you for watching this video. See you until next time. Peace out.